First rule of zombie fight club is you do not talk about zombie fight club. Second rule of zombie fight club is you do not talk about zombie fight club. So I'm going to break the rules and I am going to speak about Zombie Fight Club. So this is a Chinese Mandarin spoken movie, although it does have about 15% of the dialogue spoken in English for some reason. And it's a fairly simple plot to a point. Uh, so you can kind of catch up and get the gist of what's going on if you're not a huge fan of watching kind of foreign language films because this is more about spectacle than anything else. Now it could be said that Asian films are sometimes considered to be a little bit odd here in the kind of the for Western audiences and this film is no exception and there's one giant reason for this is that the fact that this film is almost two films in one. The, it's about an hour and a half running time. The first hour of this film essentially is the same kind of story as the movie The Raid except told with zombies and then literally we begin to get to the hour mark within the film and it completely changes direction into an almost entirely different movie. And essentially it kind of goes into this, you know, this almost like what the title suggests, a zombie fight club where we have this crime boss who basically pits human fighters against themselves and zombies for his own amusement. But it really has very little to do with the kind of the first part of the film, aside from a couple of returning characters and the fact that there's zombies there. So let me go into a little bit more detail for you. So the first portion of the story really focuses on a, a variety of uh, citizens in this particular a tower block and it's being raided by the police and it, the, the main character I guess is this guy called Andy who is a good cop in an otherwise corrupt police force and basically they're going there to kind of you know bust some drug dealers and basically one of the, kind of the captain or whatever wants to steal the money and they also have a kind of few other characters that were introduced to uh, particularly one kind of female who is basically the girlfriend of one of the kind of the pill poppers that live in this kind of large tower block and this kind of zombie virus hits and everyone kind of goes nuts turns into zombies and they're basically these kind of dwindling group of survivors have to kind of band together to try and escape and uh the weird thing about this kind of the first portion of the movie i'm going to talk about this in kind of two parts really is the this kind of is more your traditional narrative i suppose although the only thing i would say with it it kind of maybe focuses on a lot of peripheral characters they tend to have quite a lot of screen time when they're obviously cannon fodder they never they never pretend to be the kind of the main characters and you don't, they're not quite know why you're spending quite as much uh, sort of time with them now this film is basically one of these kind of uh, you know not exactly realistic film it's very kind of like a hyper reality sort of thing so it's kind of a comic booky feel to it very much so and we kind of have this this old guy in, in a kind of zimmer frame who ends up getting kind of robot legs and things but it's not it doesn't go as far as to say it's like a sci-fi film but it's just kind of in this kind of like hyper reality sort of so to speak now the the second half of this film this it, it really kind of unfortunately changes the kind of the pace of the film and kind of really kind of slows it down because you've you kind of used to watching this film you're kind of getting into the story and it kind of changes such a dramatic uh, left turn unfortunately you think what what the hell and you're kind of disappointed that the kind of the first portion of the film has kind of stopped and now it's going into this kind of completely sort of different narrative and i have to say that um the the kind of the last third of the movie really isn't as good uh, unfortunately this, the, the, the kind of narrative just kind of falls apart unfortunately it becomes a little bit more just a bit too cheesy for its own kind of good uh, but let me go into some of the kind of the positives and negatives because there are actually quite a lot of positives with this film so first of all the makeup the makeup for these films uh, for zombies i think are really good for the most part the, the zombies look fantastic and then we have a, ver a big variety of different zombies uh, some of them are kind of just, you know, you kind of pasty to those types. So other ones are kind of pr full on kind of decay. And some of them even go as far as to say they're kind of like mutated, almost Resident Evil kind of style zombies. I mean, the, make the makeup for the most part is great. Uh, they're going to be maybe a little bit too far with some of them, I think. And you kind of think, eh, it's kind of looking a little bit rubbery now. But I would say 90% of the zombie makeup effects are really, really good. A lot better than kind of some of these kind of the lower budget like American and English kind of uh, films that I've seen recently. So decent zombie effects. Good action. Now, like I said, this kind of takes a bit out of the raid. And very much it plays like that. So basically we have this kind of heroic cop basically battling hordes of the undead in with guns and kind of kung fu and, and things as well. So there, there are some great action set pieces here. I mean, it doesn't go quite as, uh, uh, maybe as good as the raid. I'm not saying that. But it is very reminiscent of it. And if you enjoyed your raid and you like zombie films, it stands to reason you're going to like this film. 
And like I said, this kind of has a definite comic book feel to it. It's such a kind of uh, over the top sort of feel to it. You know, the, the kind of the, the amount of blood and kind of things like that. And it, it, it's a fun film. This is a fun zombie kick-ass movie. However, there are a couple of niggles I have. So the first one being that um, I talked about the kind of the zombie effects, but they does use a lot of visual effects as well. And that that is a little bit distracting in there because you have like the, an overuse of kind of CGI blood. And I wonder if that's almost to kind of make it look a little bit more comic, sort of comic booky. But it, but it does it does take you out of it a little bit because it's so obvious. And it's, it's a shame really because they use quite a lot of practical effects, but and they look really good. The, the gore, this is actually quite a gory film. And the gore for the most part looks pretty good, but it is, they have an over-reliance on CGI blood and, and things like the, some of the explosions as well, just to look a little, a little bit too sort of CGI. I have to say as well, it's a little bit misogynistic. Um, kind of women, the female characters in here, are kind of definitely treated more as objects than kind of fleshed out characters. So, you know, there's quite a lot of, there's lots of like pretty Asian women here. So if you're kind of a fan of that, you're going to love this film. Uh, there's, you know, there's not one unattractive uh, woman in this in this movie, uh, and then there's uh, every opportunity to kind of get them naked as quickly, you know, as, as often as we possibly can, and, and all sorts of stuff, basically. So, if you're a female viewer, um, you may be slightly put off by this, or even if you're not, you still may not maybe like some uh, so slightly kind of misogynistic uh, view. I felt it's some, it had to some degree. Uh, the other thing is as well, really, and this is going to be the main here. The main one here is the the last third of this film, as I say, is so different. It's it, unfortunately it kind of it it changes the kind of the flow of the film, and it would have been so much better if they had kind of expanded the the first two thirds to make that more of a a, a kind of a, the film on its own, and then had this second part as maybe a second film. Which maybe they was the plan. I, I don't know, but it just seemed that it's so kind of smashed in together. And because we're only talking about half an hour, we really don't get much. And it, the, the, the kind of newer characters that were introduced to there just seem uh, th that little bit too much like kind of weird cliches. I mean, we have all these kind of dominatrices walking around and all that kind of thing. And the crime boss just seems like, you know, a cackling bad guy who's got his, and he just, he's, you know, got his doors locked, his zombified door locked up in a cage. I think the governor ripping that one off. So it's, this film really is kind of, mining these other kind of sources like the raid like fight club like walking dead to kind of have this kind of mishmash of ideas so you could argue maybe that this film isn't particularly original because it really is just recycling all this stuff from all these kind of other uh, films and tv shows and things like that to kind of make it its own its own thing but like i said i i, I kind of really liked i really enjoyed the kind of the first two thirds of this film and since that's the majority of the film uh, you know, it has this kind of great bombastic feel to it. I, I love the kind of the action. I love the the effects and gore and stuff like that. But it was really great. There's lots of kind of eye candy. Um, you know, it's a fun movie, but not without its faults. I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.